But the lack of commitment to love others, that's in the church at Corinth. And it's safe to say it exists today, the lack of commitment. I mean, it exists in the corporate world, the lack of commitment. And you could discuss that's because of the layoffs and all stuff, and that's, that's valid. But there's definitely a lack of commitment there. Lack of commitment in churches, lack of commitment to marriages, to families. A lack of commitment to love. So we want to be different. We want to be committed to love each other. Jesus said in Matthew 22, Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And on these two commandments hang all the law and prophets. Now, the Bible is only divided up into two sections, the law and the prophets at that point. Jesus is saying, this is the whole Bible, love God and love people. Then, he doesn't just stop there. He says something very profound. He says in John 13, 17, if you know these things, happy are you if you do them. You know to love God and love people. That's not enough to know it. You need to do it. And if you do it, you'll be happy. And happy is not something you search after. It's not, some, it's not a goal. John 13, 17 in the New King James says, if you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. And part of that too is serving. John 13, 14, if I then your Lord and teacher have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. Then shortly after that, if you do these things, you'll be happy. If you do these things, you'll be blessed. Blessed means happy, blissfully happy. When they translated the King James a few hundred years ago, that's what blessed means. That's what it meant when they translated. So every time you see blessed, blessed are you when men revile you. Happy are you when they revile you. 